I'll be showing you some amazing portfolio sites that you can get your portfolio up and running within a day or a few hours. Some of them are free. Number one is Framer. I love Framer because it's a short learning curve, so it's easy to get started. They have templates that you can get for free. You can buy templates and it's really easy to publish your site as well. You, you don't even have to pay. You can literally just you can literally just set up your website within a couple hours or so. And so I love using Framer. It's super cool. For example, if you go to resources and click templates, you can get on this page and you can see all the featured templates. You can see that there are a couple that are free. For example, this one, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click use for free. Boom. Now I'm in and I've actually got that template ready to use. I can go on here and start typing, um, you know, redesigning how I want it. You, know, you can change the colors, you got all the spacing options. You can see this template even comes with um, some different inspirations on the side here. Um, slideshow images, really cool. It's got the mobile version as well, so you can see the phone, the tablet, which I like. And it's a pretty cool site, and I think I like it, and I can just go in here and edit it. And then when you're ready, you can literally click publish, and um, and, we can, and you'll be ready to go. So if I just go to this one, then you go, we've got to and then it's already published. So it's pretty easy to do Framer. So that's an, uh, one of my top options if you want to set up a website. Next, we have Webflow. Now, I've been using Webflow for around four years and I just love it. It's flexible. You can do a lot with it. It takes a while to get used to it, but you can literally just do the university. It's um, Webflow University. It's free. And you can see here, I've got like my portfolio page on my website that I built in Webflow. But they also do have templates as well to quick start you so you're not overwhelmed. So for example, I'm in the portfolio section. If you go resources, um, if you go marketplace and click maybe with Webflow, click portfolio and you can see art portfolio, you've got UX portfolio, you've got photography portfolio. So um, you can see if I select a UX one and we can look at some of these ones. Maybe I like this one, I'll click view details. And we can see here this website that was built with Webflow it looks really cool. You can open the live site or you can actually click search similar templates and it'll actually show you some more templates um, that are similar to it as you can see. Some templates are free, some are not, but you know the power of Webflow is really great. You can actually create a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, and so Webflow is another great pick if you want to build your own custom website. Now, if you're someone that owns Adobe Creative Cloud, you can actually use their free Adobe portfolio. So all you need is a Behance account and you can actually set up a portfolio similar to one of these ones. It's really easy to get started. I can just click continue. I can set up a full portfolio. It's completely free. And look at all these beautiful templates we have. It's very minimal, clean. It's focused more on the images. And you know, you can have a sidebar. You can have a simple navigation. Um, it's really up to you how you want to do it. For example, maybe I like this one here. You can see this theme. Pretty cool, put my mouse over it, it's got a hover effect. It's got like this sidebar if I click on it. So it's really cool. And I literally can click use this theme and I can start editing it. So if we click use this theme on the right corner, you can see it's generated my website based on my P Behance portfolio. So whatever um, portfolio pieces you already have on Behance, it's literally just gonna add that in. I don't have to do any much editing because it's already on there. Obviously I might wanna hide some projects, some of my older ones but you can see some of my newer projects are on there. If I click on it, it'll probably take me to a nice little page here. And you've got, and it basically shows like your Behance, um, the way you, your case studies are laid out, similar um, how it will be on this. And you can, you know, turn off the logo, you can control the navigation. Um, you, can, you can edit all the settings on the left-hand side, as you can see, a whole bunch of layout settings. I can change fonts, um, you know, I can do dark mode. Um, I can do a bunch of different things. So that's um, Portfolio by Adobe. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's free. So if you don't want to pay, then I think this is a good option. Next, we've got layers.to. So layers is the new dribble on the block, basically. And I like the layout. It has a dark mode, which you can obviously change. But I like how you can just put your design. So if I click on my one of my images here in my page, I can easily filter through it. You've got the images on the top. So someone can literally tap the arrow keys and they can literally just start scrolling through your images. So you, you want to have like high visual images here, whether it's UI, nice branding, identity projects, um, just things that are visually appealing and then that makes it pop. So you can see that you can obviously put context on the right hand side so I can edit. I can actually um, edit the text. So if I want to put some more context, I can say like, 
you know, personal, um, completed 2024, whatever, um, and or whatever, you can type in there and give more context to the project. So it's cool to have this, and you can see the, um, the domain's pretty clean as well. It's just dash in your name. So I like this. It's a clean page, simple way to have it. And this is a free version. If you want to get the plus version, they do have some bonus features, um, like analytics and stuff like that. But personally, I think this is just a simple way and it's free to use. So it's another great way to set up portfolio. You can even set up a folder. So if you want to add a group, maybe I want to create a group and call it um, logo design. I can start adding um, some stuff into there. So for example, maybe I want to add this to the group, put that in there. Maybe I want to put uh, this one in here. I'll put those in groups which is super cool. So that's another cool feature as well. And then if I go to the groups, you can see the URL, you can send a client to here. Maybe you have logo design, UI design, website design, and you can just show specific things, um, you know, on what your client wants to see. So I think this is another cool way to show your work. Next, we've got super.so. Now to all the Notion geeks out there and people who love Notion, I love using Notion, it's great. You can actually set up a website based on a page you designed. So you can um, scroll through here, it's really easy. Um, this is a paid thing, but you can do a free site, which is cool. It would just won't have a custom domain. I, I still think it's, it's fine, um, or it's 16 bucks a month, that's pretty cool. Now, if I go to Notion, you can see I set up this page here. All I gotta do is literally go to my share, publish it, copy that link, and now what I gotta do, just go to the back end, click create website. I'm gonna post in my link there, and call it new site 2024 or portfolio. And you can see here at the top, I can literally click that website and my site is jeremy portfolios.super.site. So long URL, but I've got my text there, I've got my work there, and someone can see it really easily. So just, if you like using Notion, love chucking in images, you know, you can literally like just drag and drop stuff in here. Um, you know, if you wanna drag and drop some images, it's really easy to do. I can drop in some text, whatever and it will update it. If you turn on enable manual publishing, you have gotta pay for it, but it'll literally auto update whenever you update that Notion page. Now, I think that's a super practical and handy feature. So I think that's really awesome. If you're someone that doesn't like updating things, logging in the back end and stuff. Um, you have full control, you can see on the left, you got donor domains, you got pages, you can play with the design as well. Maybe you want, like, I really like playing with the colors. So if I wanna go dark mode, I can also play around with the palette as well. You know, we got ice, we got seaweed, which is cool. Um, you can play around with the background. You have full control of like all the colors and I'm pretty sure you can change the fonts as well. Um, but you know, most of the time it's pretty cool. Click save and I think it's a cool way just to do a website. It's really easy to do. So that's that's one of my other options. Next, we've got carbonmade.com. This is a great um, alternative to some of the paid options out there. They've got some templates and stuff like that. Better sign in. I remember I did a template um, ages ago. Let's just see if it's still there. So this is what Carbon Made looks like. It's pretty uh, minimal, pretty sleek. You can see I built this uh, portfolio website ages ago, as you can see there. Um, you got, you know, blocks, you can add blocks. So you can drag and drop things in there. You know, it's pretty, um, you know, pretty flexible. And you can see the mobile version, like it's got that preview. Um, you can click go live and, you know, you can play around the design. As you can see, global styles, and um, we've got projects here, so you can create different projects. Um, yeah, it's, it's bare bones. It's nothing too crazy, like to do crazy animations and things like that. It's really just to get something up um, and running really simply. And I'm pretty sure they got themes that you can have as well. But Carbon Made is a decent um, alternative as well. We've also got Format.com. Format is great for artists, photographers, and creative designers. They have a uh, a basic version, $8 a month or $11 a month for the pro version. Um, let's just check out their templates. I personally haven't used this before, but I've seen other people use it. So you can see, look at the templates, uh, mostly like high imagery, just focus on um, simple blocks and stuff like that. Like that one looks nice, this one looks good. It's really great for photographers, I think, even um, yeah, just art and stuff like that. So just on the templates, you can filter by design, by illustration. So if we click on design here, and uh, maybe you want to look at, let's find a portfolio real quick. This one looks cool. I'm going to click on that. You can literally say preview template or try this template. And you just log in, you get a 14 day free trial, which is cool. But I'm sure that, you know, you can um, edit it and 
do all the fun stuff. So here's another alternative, um, one of the cheaper ones, but I think it's pretty cool. You've got something like Ready Mag as well. So I'm gonna click on portfolios and show you some of the templates. You can see pretty creative um, typography, you got some illustration, you got some fun stuff going on here, portfolio pieces. If I click on one, let's see um, what this one looks like. This looks pretty cool. Got a lot of hover effects, got a bit of interactions here. Love the sticky um, animations in the back, all the illustrations. Let's click on the work, it looks really cool. Boom, I like that, it's nice. Pretty clean. Yeah, that's nice. So Ready Mag is cool as well. Um, yeah, pricing is uh, on the cheaper side. You can have one free website or you can go up to um, five websites for 36. So pretty cool. Um, it's got templates. It's great for like solar agencies, designers, um, if you want some more editorial stuff, but you can see a ton of designers using it. So this is another um, cool website to use. Then you've got something like Squarespace. Squarespace has been around for a long time, similar to Shopify. I personally used Squarespace like a long time ago when I hated WordPress and then I moved to Squarespace and then eventually I moved to um, Webflow. But uh, Squarespace is pretty cool. It's not as flexible and like it, it has a lot of templates, which are great. Templates are editable and stuff like that. The back end is um, not that seamless. It's probably better now. I haven't checked it out for a while, but you know, you can look at the templates and see how it is. Well, basically, you give some prompts, so we click on design, uh, and go next, um, do this. You can actually build with AI now, which is nice, or you can browse templates. You can just go browse templates. I'm going to click on art and design, and you can see some of these beautiful websites here that I think are lovely. Great for like, yeah, architecture, um, beautiful imagery, here, portfolio type websites. You can start with this design. You can even change the color, which looks cool. So maybe you want to do, change the background. But plenty of templates on there. Squarespace is a good option. But um, yeah, I reckon if you want to learn some web design skills at the same time as building a portfolio, I'd say like use something like Webflow or Framer. Um, they're really useful because you can learn skills at the same time. And I always tell designers like, why not show off your portfolio and show off the work you can do uh, on the website as well as like showing your work. So um, hopefully this helps you get some uh, get your portfolio up and running as soon as possible. A lot of designers tend to overthink too much, but it's better just to get it up. You just use a template. Don't worry about web design. Just get your work up there. Make your work look beautiful, and it'll get you more clients inquiring about your services. So hope this helps you. If you want to see some other web design resources, you can click on this video right here where I show a whole list of web design resources to help you get inspired. Cheers.